When we talk about arpeggios in jazz, we usually mean the seventh chord arpeggio, and you hear fragments of them all the time on jazz recordings. Today I'm going to show you the three, for me, most essential arpeggio cells. The first one sounds like this. It works both on D minor and F major 7. I recommend playing this little cell over and over in your own pace, especially where you use alternate positions like uh, E flat major. And G flat major 7. Then you can start moving it up and down in your register. And then start playing around with it. You can for instance mirror it. And come up with phrases with this cell as a starting point. The second cell is a diminished arpeggio, moving into a minor chord. So it's starting on the third of the dominant chord. You can also use it if it moves into a major chord. Could be useful in tunes like uh, All the Things You Are, or What Is This Thing Called Love? When you think you're ending up on a minor chord, but it turns out to be major. Or if you just want to spice up the dominant chord with the flat 9. But let's keep it minor for now. If you move this up the keys, it's actually a fun challenge, because the note you end on becomes the first note of the next phrase. <laughs> Some nice brain gymnastics there. So let's expand on this cell as well. And if we put it in a larger context and break it up a little. I have a PDF available for purchase with these three cells written out in all keys link in the description, but you can also just memorize them and move them around in the keys yourself. Last cell sounds like this. This is one I use all the time. You can actually play this cell twice, a half step uh, apart, just the way they are in songs like uh, Have You Met Miss Jones? <laughs> And uh, you stepped out of a dream. And let's expand. In this video, we deep dive into the basics of arpeggios, so check that out if you haven't already. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.